my dear students let us learn one more topic under multidisciplinary course namely two kingdom classification two kingdom classification includes only two types of organisms namely plantae and animalia this two kingdom classification was proposed by linnaeus and it includes only two kingdoms one is plantae and another one is animalia let us zoom the slide here you can see this is one kingdom by name plantae this includes only plants and these are eukaryotic autotrophs that means they can prepare their own food material by the process of photosynthesis hence these are also called producers and uh, mode of nutrition is holophytic mode of nutrition is found in plants and uh, they contain chlorophyll the members of the plantae contain chlorophyll and the starch is the reserve food material so these are the characteristics of kingdom plant now let us go to kingdom animalia here you can find the kingdom animalia and uh, the members of kingdom animalia are eukaryotic and these are heterotrophs that means they can't prepare their own food materials on their own they depend on either plants or other animals of course and hence these are also called consumers and holozoic mode of nutrition is found in case of the members of animalia and they lack chlorophyll and glycogen is the reserve food material in the members of animalia you can see the basic difference between the members belonging to the plantae and animalia plantae are producers whereas animals are consumers and uh, plants have chlorophyll whereas animals do not have chlorophyll and the plants exhibit holophytic mode of nutrition whereas animals exhibit holozoic mode of nutrition reserve food materials in the members of plantae is a starch whereas the reserve food material in the members of uh, animalia is glycogen so this is about uh, the plantae and uh, animalia thank you very much